So w- the, when did you start to perform on a regular basis from there? Well, you know, I, I got, became a member of the Pittsburgh Playhouse, I think, when I was 19. And I did stuff there. Uh, worked with the Pittsburgh Ballet Company when the uh, first season, when it first started, and did a lot of stage work there. And then went back f- to LSU where I was in college. I'd, I'd left once, and then then I went back and tried it again to see if maybe you know it uh, it was right and it wasn't. Uh, so I dropped out of school and went to the Catskills. Well, let's real quick, let's get into LSU because you, um, was this right around your hippie stage, oh, yeah. pot smoking stage? All right, cool. So, so you're going, you're this no, wait, East hey, Coast. Most of my life has been around my pot smoking stage. So let's, <laughs> okay, let's, great. Which we'll get into the juxtaposition between, sure. you know, your personality, the El Yid later on, we'll get into that, you know, between that and, and then the difference between, you know, who you were in your college time or pretty much your, throughout your whole life. But when you were going from Pittsburgh to Louisiana, this hippie pot smoking Jewish kid from Pittsburgh, you went to LSU. What was that like? Well, uh, remember I said that when I was uh, uh, eight, my mother moved to Louisiana. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I actually had an address there and I went as an in-state student and, but getting to, to what I believe you're speaking about, uh, it's, it's worth noting that I went to college and had classes with and was around David Duke when <laughs> he was that age. David, David and I used to debate each other. I, he probably would. I don't know if you remember. I was just probably some, you know, exactly what you said, some one, one more pot smoking northern hippie. Right. But right. but um, I used to debate him at LSU's Free Speech Alley and he much to his consistency credit was an asshole then and he's an asshole racist asshole now but um yeah he hasn't changed he just you know he just got older so i had an interesting time there because i'll tell you a story uh i I had um one of the classes this this kind of encapsulates it i had a class uh speech one uh at lsu so i walk into to the first day of the class and um you know, all different kinds of people are sitting there, but, you know, ones that you can really identify are not, you know, city people. They're rural because LSU grabs a lot of that. And they're great people, but they just come from different backgrounds. So right. about a couple of minutes later, in walks the a teacher, a graduate assistant, uh, kind of preppy looking, white shirt, short sleeves, a tie, short hair. And he writes his name on the board, uh, 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 Mr. Uh, Britt, B R I. TT, right? And a, a speech one. And he turns to the uh, 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 class and says, Afternoon, y'all. My name is Mr. Britt, mm. and this is speech one at Louisiana State University. Uh, <laughs> during the course of this semester, I'm going to attempt to teach y'all the correct way to speak the English language. <laughs> now, oh okay, now cut to for three and a half decades later or something, two and a half decades later, I'm now uh, one of the producers of a show called Harry and the Hendersons at uh, Universal. I was one of the producers the first season, put it on his yeah. feet. And we're casting uh, 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 day players for uh, next week's episode, right? In walks Mr. Britt. What? Who is now an actor. You can look him up online. He's a terrific guy. In, uh, 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 in walks a guy named, named Rod Britt, who was an actor. And he sees me sitting there huh. behind the producer's desk, right? And he kind of turns his head and just, it clicks, right? And he says, I knew it. I knew this would happen. I knew it. <laughs> And, oh my and I, I think I ended up giving him the job, right? So, so right. He, I mean, he worked, was fine uh, talent wise to do it. He's he's done a bunch of sh- sitcoms. So I've had a lot of moments like that in my life, which is why I'm writing the book. Did you want the accent, or did he drop his accent for the part? Oh, he he dropped the accent. He, 
you know, I okay, might have embellished yeah. it a little bit too, just for the humor. Of it. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, it works better when you know, we work that into the story. Yes, of course. Um, so, you, so you go back to Pittsburgh after LSU? Yeah, I drop out of LSU, and when I'm 19, I, I for the second time, and because uh, the first first time I dropped out didn't really take, uh, <laughs> so I go back and I tell my dad I want to go to California. 